Yeah, hey there. So often we focus on the politics of the issue. You know, do they have the votes to actually pass a bill? We want to dig a little deeper and talk about the process, what it would look like to add a state. So let's break that down with some help from our sources. We spoke with Justin Hansford from Howard University Law School, Thomas Colby from the George Washington University Law School, and Robert Peck from the Center for Constitutional Litigation. We also look to the U.S. Constitution. The admissions clause begins as follows. New states may be admitted by the Congress into this union. Our experts say that it's not required, but often Congress has first signed what's called an enabling act, which essentially outlines a path to statehood, setting requirements like a state constitution. From a constitutional standpoint, when it comes to admitting a new state, uh, that we ha all we have is that very small clause. Congress has all of the, all the chips. So Evan, being that we are the nation's capital, there are some unique circumstances that exist here. You learned about one obstacle that's actually posed by the 23rd Amendment. What's that about? Yeah, so this is really fascinating if you're a nut like me. Uh, so that gave voting rights to district residents in presidential elections, and it did so by giving electoral votes to what's, quote, the district constituting seat of government. So here's what that would mean, according to our GW expert. If you do create a state out of DC and you reduce the seat of government just to the buildings right around the mall, technically at that moment, that new seat of government, those buildings right around the mall, they get three votes for the president, which is not what anyone wants to have happen. Yeah, so the big solution here, he says, is just to repeal the 23rd Amendment when you pass that statehood bill. He doesn't foresee this being the big problem, as always, the big obstacle is politics. Putting here at the Capitol, Evan Kozlov, send it back to you. Yeah, a lot of hurdles to climb in order to get to statehood. Evan, thank you. So we've